Imagine the ideal society, one in which the things that you cannot control, like where you're born, what you're born as, and the family into which you're born, do not affect your basic conditions of life. This wouldn't mean putting an end to all social and cultural differences. They are what make life interesting. But it would mean that your life chances are not dictated by the accident of birth. So if you're born as a girl in a minority group in a rural area of a poor region, you would still have access to minimum conditions of life and opportunities for developing your capabilities, which would not be too different from a boy born in a well-off household of a dominant social group in an affluent society. What would this require in terms of how we organize our economies and societies? Here are my seven dreams. One, economic arrangements will not be oriented around the simple expansion of aggregate incomes and profits as the main goals. It is irrational to be obsessed with GDP growth. Consider this, a chaotic, polluting, congested and exhausting system of privatized urban transport generates much more GDP than a clean, efficient, affordable and green system of public transport. Which would you prefer? Two, other goals should matter. Reasonable living conditions for all, development of people's capabilities and space for their creativity, decent employment opportunities, safe and clean environments. Everyone will be able to afford the essentials of life. Food, water, basic safe housing. Three, market forces that help in achieving these goals will be encouraged, such as promoting small producers in different activities and promoting competition to ensure better quality. But markets working to reduce the quality of life of ordinary people, like finance or other concentrated industries, will be regulated, restricted, or even abolished. Four, extreme inequalities will not be tolerated. Excessive wealth and incomes will be taxed, and the money will be used to provide goods and services to all citizens. Pay and other incomes will be monitored and regulated, so that material differences between people do not grow so large. Five, there will be much greater social respect for nature. Economic activities will be monitored and assessed for the damage that they do to nature, with a focus on reducing this as much as possible. Six, governments will be much more important, so they will have to be genuinely democratic, transparent and accountable. There will be more people's voice and participation in the decisions that affect their lives. Finally, international arrangements will support the possibility of such societies emerging and being sustained without facing threats of destabilizing trade and capital flows or military aggression. It's far from utopian. Some of these dreams are easy to achieve. For the more ambitious, it simply requires more people around the world to strive for them.